Hello strangers, welcome to Alvarita Hits. I am Albert Strange and this is The Secrets Behind the Number Ones. Today we are in uh, the 1990s, the fourth number one song of that decade. But before I uh, drop that information on you, I do want to take a quick second to ask you to hit the uh, subscribe button and notification bell. That way you'll know whenever I uh, release another video. Uh, I've been uh, dropping um, almost every day now. Four or excuse me, five or six times a week I'm, I'm getting a video out. Really trying to keep that momentum going and grow the channel. But I need your help to do it. Anything uh, like subscribing is, is, is a great help to me. Uh, when you do subscribe, just leave a, leave a message in the comment section saying, I subscribed, I'm a new subscriber. I will, uh, I will reply to you. I've had some very good back and forth with, uh, with my new subscribers, and I'd like to uh, do the same with you. So, what was the fourth number one song in 1990? None other than one of Canada's greatest exports, Alana Miles' Black Velvet. This song was number one for two weeks, from uh, March 24th until April 7th. And let's um, let's get to it. All right, Black Velvet by Alana Miles. Mississippi in the middle of a dry spell. Jimmy Rogers on the Victrola up high. Mom is dancing with baby on her shoulder. The sun's setting like molasses in the sky. The boy could sing, knew how to move everything. Always wanting more, he'd leave you longing for. Black Velvet and that little boy smile. Black Velvet with that slow southern style. A new religion that'll bring you to your knees. Black Velvet, if you please. Up in Memphis, the music's like a heat wave. White lightning bound to drive you wild. Mama's baby in the heart of every schoolgirl. Love me tender leaves him crying in the aisle. The way he moved, it was a sin. So sweet and true. Always wanting more. He'd leave you longing for black velvet and that little boy smile. Black velvet and that slow southern style. A new religion that'll bring you to your knees. Black velvet, if you please. Every word of every song that he sang was for you. In a flash, he was gone. It happened so soon. What could you do? Black velvet and that little boy smile. Black velvet in that slow southern style. A new religion that'll bring you to your knees. Black velvet if you please. Black velvet and that little boy smile. Black velvet in that slow southern style. A new religion that'll bring you to your knees. Black velvet if you please. If you please. If you please. If you please. And that is Black Velvet by Alana Miles. The song was written by Christopher Ward and uh, David Tyson. Uh, they were also Canadian. Um, Christopher Ward was dating Alana, Alana Miles when, um, when the song was written. Uh, the song is actually about Elvis. Second song in a row. Cause the song that I released prior to this was uh, Queen's crazy little thing called Love, Love that was a tribute to Elvis. This song is totally about Elvis. Um, Christopher Ward was at Graceland when he, when he conceived it. Um, and uh, Black Velvet is the uh, hair dye that Elvis used. It was called Black Velvet. And there are also lots of paintings of Elvis, where the canvas is black velvet. So I, I, I I'm, not, I'm not an artist or a painter, so I'd be interested to see those. Uh, but a couple of lines from the song. Mama's baby in the heart of every schoolgirl. Love me tender leaves him crying in the aisle. The way he moved it was a sin, so sweet and so true. So Love Me Tender is one of Elvis's most famous songs. Um, Mama's Baby in the Heart of Every Schoolgirl. He was one of the first, like, TV heartthrobs. He became famous in the, in the early to mid-50s, right when TV was, was blowing up. Uh, and he was one of the first real heartthrobs. Um, and, uh, the way he moved, it was a sin so sweet and true. His dancing was very scandalous for the, uh, for the 50s. You know, we watch it now, and it's just like, wow, he moved his hips a little bit. But that was, that was very risque. 
in uh, in the 1950s. They used to film him from the waist up because they didn't want they didn't want to show his hips moving. Um, but of course, we know he learned those moves from Forrest Gump. Um, just because you have braces on your legs doesn't mean you can't dance. Um, also, Black Velvet, you know, George Costanza, um, he would drape himself in velvet if it was socially acceptable. Who knows if it was black velvet, but velvet nonetheless. Um, so this song, totally about Elvis, like I said, and, and, there, and there's more to it. Um, um, in a flash, he was gone. It happened so soon. What could you do? And, you know, his death was, was a big surprise to everybody. Elvis's death, that is, when he, when he died. He was very young. He was in his early 40s when he did die. Um, but, um, you know, listen to this song. It, it, it's, it's a very good song. Uh, it has a country beat to start. Um, you, you wouldn't think that it was going to be like a big power ballad uh, from, the first, from the opening guitar riffs. Um, but it's, it, it's a pretty, uh, it, it is definitely a, a, it hits that ballad point, uh, the power ballad point um, throughout. It, it, it's a very powerful song. Uh, if you watch the video, <laughs> um, she's, wearing a, she's wearing a leather jacket in it. And uh, the band, like the guitarists and uh, and the drummer, uh, they're all they all have long hair and they don't have shirts on <laughs> in the video. There, it just, it just screams um, late eighties, early early nineties, um, like hair power ballads. It's it's uh, it's 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 a very good song. And um, the um, I I don't know many other songs by Alana Miles. I looked at um, I looked at her discography. And uh, and some of her other singles, I didn't I didn't recognize any of them. Uh, I do I was somewhat familiar with this song, at least the title, um, just from um, it, it was number one in 1990. Um, but growing up a little bit older in the mid to late 90s, I remember all of those um, greatest hits CDs you could order online for like the best of the 90s, living in the 90s. And I, I say order online, excuse me, you could call and order in these time life things. Um, this song was always on those, and they would they would have the video clip of her, you know, just singing "Black Velvet." It was a very short clip, maybe five seconds. Um, so I knew I knew the song existed, but I don't know that I had ever listened to the whole song prior to uh, prior to doing it for this video. So, and and, and it's a good song. Uh, the the music on it is great. Um, she has a really good voice. And I, I recommend checking it out. It's a little bit longer than a lot of the other songs that I've uh, done on this. It's almost five minutes. Um, but um, the video on YouTube, the official video, um, was posted six years ago. And it has um, almost, uh, or it has over, excuse me, over 80 million views. So in six years, 80 million views, what is that? That's like 13 million, 14 million a year. So it's getting over a million views a month. You know, good for her. I'll be there one day, right? A million views a month? Come on. You, you, you can help, help your friend Albert. Uh, but that's... Um, oh, yeah. What, one other thing I wanted... Or two other things I wanted to add. Uh, the song won her a Grammy for Best Female Rock Vocal Performance. And it also won the Juno Award, which is the Canadian equivalent of the Grammy. Uh, remember, she was Canadian. Uh, for the uh, Single of the Year. So this song... Uh, this song was... It, it was a very big hit. Um... Check it out. Really check it out. It's a good song. Uh, but that's um, that's what I have for you today, strangers. Thank you for uh, thank you for giving me the time to uh, like, share, subscribe, all the things I'm always asking. You can find me on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. I've been doing lots of Snapchat and uh, Instagram stories recently. All my handles will be right down there in the description. And uh, as always, remember to tip your servers, tip your bartenders, tip your rideshare drivers, tip your delivery drivers. They appreciate it. If you're gonna whatever you're gonna leave, just add a couple of dollars more on top of it. It, re it really makes a difference um, if they're providing great service. If you could reward them for that, because um, some people don't. <laughs> so so really 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 do what you can to help out people in the service industry. But that's uh, that's what I have for you today, strangers. Thank you for giving me the time. Uh, the song that we're doing in the next video will be the uh, fourth number one song from the '90s. Um, I'm not familiar with it, just based on the the. Uh, the artist and the song and and the name. Um, I think I know what it is, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but the name of the band 
is the same as a character from the movie Spaceballs. So is it Barf? Is it Dark Helmet? Is it Princess Vespa? You'll find out in my next video. And if you want to see the next video, you want to know when, it, when it's dropped, hit that subscribe button, right? Hit the notification bell. But that's what I have for you today, strangers. Thank you again for giving me the time. I do, uh, I do appreciate it. And I will, uh, I will see you uh, in my next video.